Hi everyone and welcome back to Sandy Bay. It's going to be quite a big Matty Ferguson day today. I think probably every machine we're going to use is going to be Matty Ferguson to the delight of a lot of people but probably to the dismay of others. But um, yeah we're going to be doing a lot of work with these over the next couple of episodes. Uh, this tractor here, our front loader tractor, the 5712 with the Dyna VT transmission. Um, this is the one with the Matty Ferguson 945 front loader and uh, I think that is actually a reskin of the Giants one, I may be wrong, but it's been very well done and um, the download link is below, it's available now at FS UK, along with the tractors by Bullet Bill, very good, very good indeed, fantastic things, uh, really looking forward to using these. It's actually like being in Massey Ferguson heaven, like I said on one of his videos, oh, they are just brilliant, I just cannot resist doing probably two episodes at least with these tractors because they are just so well done. Um, especially, I, I actually really like the drop nose one, this one here, with the front loader. We're going to be using that quite a bit. We're going to be doing square bales today, and we're going to be doing that with a Massey Ferguson baler, of course. And uh, we just need to be able to afford it, that is the issue. We can't afford the Massey Ferguson baler. So I'm going to have to go over here, and we're going to have to extend our loan. The way we got the money for those two tractors is, we sold, well I sold um, the big plough, because... I'm going to get a smaller one. We're still going to do some ploughing, but we're going to use a smaller plough. And also, I sold some grain and extended the loan a bit already. So, um, yes, let's borrow. Oh, a bit more. There we go. Uh, let's now buy the Massey Ferguson baler. Really looking forward to using this. I did use it on Melbury Estates, but not that much. Not as much as I would have hoped. Now one thing which I can remember about this baler actually, let me just go back to the page for it, is uh, the power requirement is 230 horsepower, which seems very excessive. Um, and I'm not sure if it's right, but it does seem quite high. The tractor which we've actually got for it here is way less than that, a lot less. So what I'm gonna have to do is just try, we'll put it on it and just see how well it can do. We'll move this one out of the way. This tractor will be used for the bale trailer and also for loading the bales onto the trailer. I will be doing some manually, but probably quite a lot with the auto stacker as well. Just because there are going to be so many bales out of this field, it is huge. Let's get it on. It, it does look physically too small, I have to admit. And um, I would say it probably is. Let's just try and start it up. Yeah, physically it does look very small. Yeah, insufficient power. So, what I could do, and it's not something that I'd like to do, but we could rent. We could rent the biggest Massey Ferguson tractor, which is in the pack. Um, which I don't want to do, but if that is the only way around this, then that is what we'll have to do. So what we'll do now is we'll put this on Follow Me. These two tractors are ours. We own these, and we'll be keeping these, and we'll be using these quite a lot. Okay then, so we're in the Massey Ferguson 5712. The drop nose with the front loader and this is the tractor we're going to actually use to pick up the bales with the tractor following us is the 6616 actually we've been cut up but that is the slightly bigger tractor and that also does actually have the mounting point for a front loader but that is the tractor which we're going to use for towing the bale trailer we're going to use two tractors for the operation and uh, we're going to use obviously the different one for actually baling the field which is now rented, that's why you can see our money has completely depleted. But, we should get that money back very easily. The bail, there's going to be so many bales, and also we've got all of our grain yet to sell. Or at least most of it, I have used a bit of it. Um, so this operation should go very well. Now a lot of you do actually criticise me and say that I actually spend too much on machinery. But I like to keep these videos fresh, I like to keep using different machines rather than repeating myself over and over again. Now I know you could have actually cut across to field number 20 down there, however, I have to go up here to pick up the other tractor because we need to swap the bale, baler over to the bigger tractor. Now, yeah, the power requirement for that baler is around 250 horsepower, so I've actually got a tractor which is I think 252 or something, I can't remember exactly, let's just have a look here. It's the biggest one, it's the 7726, 255, so that would be perfectly adequate. I would have thought the tractor we've got following us, well, was following us, 
would have been adequate anyway, but that tractor and the baler do actually have quite high power requirements. But anyway, here we are. We have arrived at the yard and I cannot wait to get cracking because I just want to use this tractor pack so much. I have been waiting for this thing to be released, like a lot of you. Just waiting for it to appear on FSUK. We check in daily and finally it is out. And uh, it's not going to disappoint, I can already see that. We'll get these gates opened. Let's get them shut again as well. Now actually, I skipped the night time and we get paid a midnight for the cows, for the, for the milk. And um, we got £20,000, which I think is quite impressive. That's daily as well. Right, so that is all ready. We're just making our way up from the traffic lights where it decided to get stuck. But, yeah, we'll swap it over to the 7726 and then we'll get cracking in the field. Now, um, I am going to bail the entire field and wait until we've done it all before we start to clear the field. Because I like to see a fully bailed field. Now, I did say that I wasn't going to do any bales for a long time, but I was actually implying no more round bales. As for square bales, we will be doing a bit. This field primarily, but there probably will be a bit more in the future as well. Actually, to be honest, I haven't done that many square bales, so I think it's, it's nice to actually do square bales for once. Yeah, I just noticed that was actually folded down. But once we get back to the yard, we'll swap everything over and we will commence baling. That might be the only thing we do today. I might do a time lapse, I might not, it just depends how well it goes. And um, tomorrow, definitely, we will be clearing the field, beginning to clear the field at least. Um, we'll start off using the front loader, and then we will probably finish off using the auto stacker. Like I say, it just depends how many bells we get out of it. Like if it's some crazy number, then uh, I don't know if I'll have the patience to clear every single bale. Uh, because I'll probably keep knocking my bells off the trailer, but we'll, we'll give it a go. I'll see how many I can do. The main reason for doing this is to try out this Master Ferguson pack, just because it is immensely amazing. I cannot wait for this. I will stop saying how amazing it is, because it's going to get very annoying, I can imagine. <laughs> but, yeah, you know what I mean. It is just brilliant. Okay, then. So, we will take that baler off there. This tractor is actually going to be not used today. I park it just here. It will be used tomorrow. It should be fine there. And likewise, actually, this tractor probably won't be used today either. So we can park that just over here. The only reason I actually bought these today was to show anyone who hasn't seen them yet, just because they are quite a sight. The, the uh, detail, the attention to detail, is just unbelievable. Okay, that looks quite neat. We'll park them there. And we'll now, if I haven't boxed myself in, we'll make our way over to this tractor, pick up the baler, and I probably will start it up in the yard just to make sure there is not any kind of conflict. And then we'll go down to the field and we'll get it baled. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Good. So off we go then. We should be able to go the twisty turny way over the bridge, but we'll have to see. Uh, it's not very long. It's not like the trailers. But it is heavy. There you go. Look, suspension. It's all working. I think it's got cab suspension as well. As well as the front axle pivoting. but I'm really hoping to get quite a good screenshot today for the thumbnail. If we can have a whole field of bales and have this tractor in the foreground.
Here he goes. Let's get it all started up. Another feature this tractor has is that when you go inside the cab, it is considerably quieter, as you would expect. You don't hear as much of the engine noise and the PTO and stuff. Already on six bales. The tractor is actually coping really well. It can maintain about 13 or 14 miles per hour uphill while powering the baler. One thing's for sure, it has no shortage of power. Just noticing that the sheep wool is at 99%, so that is a job lined up for probably Sunday. Just depends how well we get on with these bales. Now there's a bit missy. Must be the only bit in the field. We're at 22 bales. There is definitely going to be a lot. Hardly started the field. Now this is a tricky bit. This is the steepest part of the field and this is pulling it down. It's a good horsepower test though much power it's actually got. I love the grill on the front of the bonnet, the mesh, and you can open that bonnet up and have a look inside. Also, something I should have done actually, the uh, front link arms on the front, or well, obviously at the front, um, they, they should, uh, should have been folded up. You can fold them up. I should have done that. I'll have to do that in a minute. Okay, so if I just stop here and fold the, uh, the pickup up, uh, if you stand here, you should be able to fold the front linkage up by pressing X. There we go. So that is much better. And also, if you press O, that's what lifts the bonnet up. You can even see the dirt on the inside of the bonnet. There is the air filter assembly, the radiators, many radiators, and even an Agco filter down there. I think that's the fuel filter because you've got a water trap underneath. So yeah, the detail is uh, just faultless really. We shall continue.
to be honest, I think that bailing in Farming Simulator is probably one of the strongest points about Farming Simulator, and you probably wouldn't even think of that as one of, one of the best things. But really, except for not having to load the baler up with any twine or any wrap or anything like that, um, the actual idea of it works very well. Like, it's never actually been that glitchy. You've always been able to pick up the straw, it converts it into a bale. Uh, it's, it has always been a very reliable system, even from the very beginning of Farming Simulator 2009. There wasn't any bailing in 08, I don't think, but yeah, 09. Even from there, although actually, bale handling. Hmm. Bale handling was not good. They tended to fly across the map and, and create many, many problems, but the actual bailing, actually picking up the swath and getting it into the baler and then having a bale come out the other end, that's always worked fine. There's never been a problem with that, and that has always been a very strong point about Farming Simulator. So, yeah. There's not a great deal that could be improved on there, but there is more detail that could be added in. We are already at 54 bales. <laughs> that is a lot, considering we're only here. We have gone around the headlands, but yeah, really, we're only here. There is going to be so many. One thing I have considered is to get a load of them shifted off the field immediately with the Matty Ferguson's and the Marshall Beltros. And then the rest of them, we could get the Arcus in um, auto stacker and just make a massive straw stack. Now one thing which could be an issue there potentially is lag. There could be a very big lag problem, but the this map does actually seem to run relatively well so a few bells shouldn't make too much of a problem obviously if there's a huge problem and it's totally unplayable I can just wipe them from the XML file but I don't want to do that if I can help it I would like to make a big stack and then sell them or use them as we need them or as we need to that would be ideal just depends if it will let us because as we're already on 59 bales Looks like there's probably going to be at least 200 out of this field. Or probably 200 actually. Another thing is the shape of the bonnet. The shape of the bonnet in Farming Simulator, especially in the earlier games, has always been a weak spot. But obviously these in 15 they've been pretty good. The modelling is fantastic. But this tractor, just want to bring the point back to this tractor, having driven a number of Massy Fergus in real life, and you probably have two if you're if you're a farmer, um, the, the shape of that bonnet is spot on. Because when you look down a bonnet on a Massy Ferguson, or some Massy Ferguson at least, there is like a, a little curve right at the end on the nose of the bonnet. And I can see that on this one. So that is another place where the attention to detail is uh, really good. Our money is on zero. We have no money at all. We will soon recover that though. Three bales and still counting. I'm going to change the amount of bales I think there'll be. I think there'll be around 170, but it could be anything. I have no idea really. It's just a guess. Have your guess now while you're watching before you skip forward and uh, see how many we actually do get. Post a comment and say how many you think there'll be. See how close you are.
There's something very therapeutic about just sitting in this tractor doing these battles. I actually really like doing this job. It's really good. We should do bells more often. Oh no, wait, we've done them so much. Square bells are really fun. I think I do prefer square bells a lot more over round ones. I suppose mainly because you don't have to worry quite so much about what's happening behind, but obviously you do have to be uh, fully aware of it all. In Farming Simulator you have to press uh, O to get the, uh, the back door to open. But with the square bailer they still come flying out the back. I've never bailed in real life, but I've heard that it is quite a hard job actually because you've got to worry about blockages and going too fast and having to get your, your twine changed over and everything. Well, actually, I think you, you tie it all together, don't you? I think... I might be wrong. You tie all your twines together so that they, uh, they feed through... I don't know. I'm probably wrong there. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it is probably quite a skilled job. We're on uh, 116 bales. We're getting close to that 170 mark. Okay, then we're getting closer to the end. All those bales over there done. 147. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with my 170. Looking forward to seeing how many there's actually going to be. But we haven't got too much left now. It might even be more than 170. Okay, that is 168. I think I'm a bit off. Um, yeah, I think it is going to be fairly close to 200, probably just less than 200. Just look at all those bales. Wow, 173 of them. Two hundred bales. Wow, I didn't think we'd even get that many. It's going to be over two hundred. I'm not going to guess anymore because I'm just continually wrong. But yeah, it's over two hundred. It's looking good. We are virtually done. And on to the final swath of straw. This is it. This tractor has really proved itself today, but I think I've got my work cut out for tomorrow. Hmm. Somehow I don't think we're going to be able to move over 200 bales with that front loader. I don't think I'd have the patience, to be honest. <laughs> so, um, we'll definitely start. I think what we'll do is the bales which we're going to keep, we'll move with the, the Massey Ferguson front loader and the Marshall trailer. And uh, then the ones which we're going to sell, we'll do with the autist. I could just clear the field really quickly. There are a few bits of straw which are all dotted about down here. That's where our combine me messed up. It did make a right mess down here. But I think overall, we have got most of it. There is not really too much left over. Um, I'm not really just going to go, go around getting these tiny bits. So I think we are done. 200. And, oh, actually, no. Hang on. No, no, no. no. We've got 95% in this baler. We've got to get another one out. Um... Okay, so we just press O and it will it'll unload it all. Okay. So that is another one done. If we press O, it should fire it all out. There we go. The back's already gone up. 
unusually. But that is our baling done. Which means the grand total is 213 bales from one field. That's a new record for me. How many bales have you ever done from one field? What's the record? See if anyone can beat it. Obviously we can't see if you're telling the truth or not, but um, hopefully everyone will be honest. How many bales have you done from one field? Or in fact, how many bales have you done from this field? See if anyone can beat that. I'm sure it is possible because I've missed a few bits here and there. Um, in fact, we've done so many bales that they've gone off the map into the distance beyond the view distance. So, uh, yeah, that is impressive. All that's left to do now is to take this back to the yard, take the bale off, and the tractor will disappear because we'll be returning it to the dealership as it is rented. At least we've put all that work onto a rented tractor and not our own. Our own ones are still brand new. Admittedly, we do need to have a bit of a sort out of this yard. The combine and everything is just there. So we're going to have to sort that out. But the baler can go in one of the sheds up here. We've got the sheds which, when you go up, up this little slope here and then you turn right, there's that new new storage place for machinery. I think that is probably a good place for the baler. Just in here. Put it next to the JCB. And that has done quite a lot of work today. It deserves a rest. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Tomorrow we will be using the other two Matty Ferguson tractors, clearing some of those bales and sorting things out. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.